A month ago, I was sent this Shinda movie projector. It's 1080p native resolution. Honestly, I've used a lot of these projectors from China before and I wasn't expecting much, but I must say I was actually really impressed with this projector and I will tell you why in this video. So a little bit about this projector. Out of the box, it comes with a remote, a power cable, an HDMI cable. It has input for both VGA and HDMI. Comes with two USB ports. One USB port can be used, you can plug in a USB device to show videos on it directly, or you could use one of the USB ports to power a device like a Chromecast or something like that. And it also has a slot for a micro SD card if you want to put video files on a micro SD card. My first impression is that it's a pretty good projector. It has a large throw. It really is 1080p native resolution. I tried other resolutions on this and if you pick one that is not compatible it simply won't show but when I did it on 1080p it worked just fine. It has it has focus and keystone tuning. Both of these are manual and they work pretty well. It also comes with a built-in speaker. I've seen built-in speakers on most projectors and usually they're quite terrible and I would never use it. But this one was actually loud enough that I've been using the built-in speaker. I was impressed enough with this projector that I decided to take it to work and compare it to a much more expensive projector. So just as a reference point, this Shinda speaker I think right now is going on Amazon for about $199, so just under $200. And the projector I'm comparing this to at work, uh, I know it cost well over $1,000. I think it was in the $1,500 range. I'm, I'm not exactly sure on the price, but it's definitely much more expensive. Let me show you first the Shinda projector. I took it to work. I had to put it on a couple of boxes and then I have it displaying on the projector screen. And you can see the quality is actually pretty good. It's fairly bright. Overall, it's kind of an impressive projector. It is not bad. Next up, we have the projector at work mounted on the ceiling. This cost more than $1,000 than the Shinda projector. And you know what, obviously this is quite a bit better. You can see it's it's a bit more crisp. The colors uh, are not so washed out. The colors are a bit brighter. Uh, I found on the Shinda projector, some of the darks were just a lot darker than I would want. Another thing is the fan on the more expensive projector is quite a bit more quiet. So in conclusion, yeah, obviously the $1,000 plus projector is better than the Shinda projector, but is it $1,000 more better? Like the difference is there, but it's not a huge, huge difference like it is with the price. Honestly, I would think for a home user, this Shinda projector is pretty good. The negatives I would say with the Shinda projector is for one, the image seems to be cropped all on the edge. Uh, I tried to get rid of that by changing the resolution on my computer. I couldn't get rid of that. Not sure why that's there, but that's kind of a slight annoyance. Another thing is the fan is quite loud. I've noticed this with every projector from China that I've used. So no big surprise there. And the other drawback with this is it doesn't seem to have any way to mount it. There's no tripod mount, there's no hardware mount. I just had to stack this on a table or stack it on boxes. That's the only way I found I could use it. Um, and it doesn't have a huge keystone or zoom tuning. So you kind of have to set it up exactly where it needs to go in relationship to your wall or projector screen. So that's something to be aware of. You might be stacking boxes just to get it to work. The positives, however, with this are obviously at less than $200, 
this is a fantastic price, especially the fact that the projector itself is really quite good. It has a good resolution. It's bright. It's like 3000 lumens. That's a great projector for the price. The other things, the other nice thing about it is it does come with a lot of features. You can plug in a USB card. You can view movies a lot of different ways. It has features like I think viewing documents or whatever features I will never use, but they're there. Overall, I'd say it's really a great projector if you just want something cheap to use in the home and you're only going to use it on occasion. It's not a bad way to go.